synthetic indicators synthetic indicators means an indicator prepared from artificial source is known as synthetic indicators we use many synthetic indicators like methyl orange see this one this one is a methyl orange and this one is a phenolphthalein indicator and litmus paper test in the laboratory so how do different happy morning to all of you today we are going to conduct lab activity 1 so for this experiment activity we need some solutions that is dilute hydrochloric acid sodium hydroxide acetic acid salt solution sugar solution soap solution we need six solutions so test these solutions will be test them with the indicators we have a four indicators red litmus blue litmus methyl orange and phenolphthalein so first of all we will conduct the activity with the red litmus paper so take a red litmus paper and dip in the di dilute hydrochloric acid and observe the color of the red litmus paper so there is no change and take red litmus paper and dip or insert it into the sodium hydroxide solution then it will be turned into blue color if red litmus paper will be changed into blue color it will indicate the it is a the solution given solution is a base solution then take red litmus paper and insert it in acetic acid solution and observe the color of this paper so there is no change and take uh, red litmus paper and dip into the salt solution there is no change and sugar solution and take uh, red litmus paper and dip into the sugar solution there is no change with the soap solution it will be turned into blue color so when all the litmus red litmus will be turned into blue those solution will indicate the base solution next take blue litmus paper and observe the colors changes in the paper so take a blue litmus paper and dip into the dilute hydrochloric acid and it will be turned into red color and dip blue litmus paper dip into the sodium hydroxide cell solution it does not changes its color and take a blue litmus paper and dip into the acetic acid solution the uh, paper will be turned into red color so whenever the blue litmus paper turn into red color it will indicate the presence of uh, acids so the blue litmus will not change in salt solution and sugar solution because these two are neutral solution and dip into the blue litmus paper will be dip into the soap solution it does not change its color okay so the here what we concluded the blue litmus paper will be turned into red color in acidic solution the red litmus paper will be turned into blue color in base solutions so the next indicator is methyl orange and take few drops of methyl orange and uh, will be pour in two drops of dilute hydrochloric solution so the solution will be turned into the acidic solution will be turned into red color and add few drops of methyl orange to sodium hydroxide and it will be turned into yellow color so next the add few drops of methyl orange to acetic acid solution it will be turned into red color and add few drops of methyl orange to salt solution and sugar solution it does not changes any color so soap solution if we add few drops of methyl orange to soap solution it will be turned into yellow color that means the phenolphthalein color changes its colors with the acids in red color and for base the the methyl orange solution will be turned into yellow color so next indicator is phenolphthalein so phenolphthalein it will be so pour 2 3 2 3 drops of phenolphthalein solution in dilute hydrochloric acid 
it does not changes its color and next if you add few drops of phenethylene to sodium hydroxide solution it will be turned into pink color and next take few drops of phenethylene solution and add into the acetic acid solution so it does not changes its color and salt solution it does not changes its color with the sugar solution it does not changes its color and with soap solution it will be turned into pink color so what we concluded with phenethylene indicator so phenethylene indicator will which will be changes its pink color with the base solution but uh, neutral solutions and uh, acidic solution it does not changes any its color so blue litmus terms what we finally uh, from the table we concluded that blue litmus terms red in acids red litmus terms blue in bases and methyl orange terms red in acids and yellow in bases phenethylene terms pink in base but does not change its color in acids okay thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you so do you know blood in lemon some mantra gallu or magicians what they do the magician cut a lemon with a knife blood comes out they deceive us by using a simple technique magicians magicians prepare a knife by applying an indicator like methyl orange or hibiscus solution on it then after dry it they cut the lemon before us due to the reaction of lemon juice turns the red we are made to believe that blood is coming out of the lemon so next olfactory indicators substances Which uh, which change the smell when mixed with acid and base are known as olfactory indicators. Example: onion, vanilla, clove oil. So these indicators can be used for inclusive learning. So substances which change the smell, that means onion, vanilla, and clove oil, will change their color. whenever we mix it with this solution acid or base so these are known as olfactory indicators so olfactory receptors are present in our nose so by using the smell we can say that uh, olfactory indicators they can change the smell so universal indicator it is a mixture of different indicators it shows different colors in different solutions unlike methyl orange phenethylene universal indicator can show the strength of the acid or base or alkaline substance so methyl orange phenethylene uh, we can tell only by using it is a what color it will be changes in acid solution or base solution but universal indicator what is the use of universal indicator it can show the strength of the acid or alkaline substances so ph of substances we use vinegar in our dishes which generally we add any vinegar into some manchuria and preparing while preparing noodles we add vinegar but it does not harm us but hydrochloric acid is a dangerous enough to touch even we can't touch with our uh, hand hydrochloric acid so why is it so what makes the hydrochloric acid dangerous than vinegar strength of the acid is the reason behind this the strength of the different acids and bases vary so different acids and different bases we have a strength of different how can we measure the strength of an acid or base strength of acid and base is solution is measured in ph scale the scale was introduced by sorensen who was introduced the ph scale ph scale was introduced by sorensen the range of ph scale is 0 to 11 ph of acid is less than 7 ph of base is more than 7 so let us see once observe the ph scale how it would be like that see in your textbook so ph scale is a like a strip yellow color strip so it 
when or we keep this paper in a solution it changes its color so the dependent on the color of the changes of the color it decide the whether it is a acid or base see in your textbook they gave a ph scale so ph scale it is up to 0 to 14 from 0 to 7 that means below 7 they, these are acids and 7 to 14 uh, after 7 to 14 so those will be in a base indicators see this is the ph scale so ph scale is a strips like this see how these strips are there so like this only the paper is in yellow color this one is a ph strip it was a ph scale so when we keep this paper in any acid solution or base solution when or it will be turned into this color so the changes of the color it decide whether it is a acid or base for example if we keep this if the if we keep this strip in a hydrochloric acid it will be turn into red color so red color so what is the red color value 1 so the ph of red uh, hydrochloric acid is a 1 if we keep this uh, strip in a sugar solution the strip will be turned into green color so the green color will indicates the 7 so ph 7 is a the green color so neutral solution for example if we keep this strip in a sodium hydroxide so the ph value the ph page paper color will be changed into this blue color so it will indicate the ph of the solution is a the ph of this solution is a 13 and it represents a base from he carefully observe from 0 to 6 it is a acidic solution and 8 to 14 it is a base solution and from 7 it is a neutral solution we can simply say ph of acid is less than 7 ph of base is more than 7 ph of neutral substance is a 7 strength of acid and base uh, acid decreases from 0 to 7 and strength of base has increased from 8 to 14 that means if the solution ph value is 1 that is strong acid if while well, compared to the ph 6 okay so ph 6 is a actually 6 is a larger number compared to 1 but uh, the strength of the acids will be decreasing decreasing from 1 0 to 6 so that means if the solution will have a 1 it has a strong acid if the solution ph will have a 6 it is a weak acid okay so that is the that is all about the ph paper for this activity we need different types of solutions and universal indicator and ph scale ph scale so first take the dilute hydrochloric acid vinegar water sodium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide solutions in a beaker and you uh, take universal indicator and add two two drops in each test tube then by using the color uh, changes its color of the solution we can find the ph value okay first uh, observe with the dilute hydrochloric solution add add few drops of universal indicator into dilute hydrochloric acid so then the solution will be changes its color it is a red in color now test with the vinegar acid so whenever we add two drops of universal indicator into vinegar solution it changes its color it is yellow in color the next with water it does it does not changes its color it remains green in color only sodium hydroxide so with the sodium hydroxide it changes its color with the purple color and add few drops of universal indicator into ammonium hydroxide solution it changes its color in light purple color hey 
So by using the color of this solution, you can find the pH value. So observe the color of the hydrochloric acid solution with the changes its red color. So it will indicate 1. So the red color on the pH scale, it will indicate 1. So yellow color. So 1 is a strong acid. 1 represent it is a strong acid pH value of the scale. And yellow color. So what is the yellow color pH value? pH on the pH scale, we will observe the 3. So 3 is a 3 indicates yellow color in vinegar solution. So vinegar solution, so the pH scale of the 3, it will indicate the it is a weak acid. And the pH value of water is 7. So it is a neutral solution. And pH value of pH, this color, the purple color indicates the 14. And it will indicate strong base. From 8 to 14, it will indicate bases. So the last number is 14. So 14 will indicate strong base or strong alkaline solution. We can call it as a strongly alkaline also. We can call it as a. And it is it will indicate 12 to 13. So it will weak base or weak alkaline. We can call like that also. Weak base or weak alkali so now what we concluded that hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid so these are all examples for strong acids and acetic acid citric acid oxalic acid are weak acids so sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide are strong bases ammonium hydroxide is a weak base okay Thank you for watching this video. Please like my video, share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you.